Hey players, so I have some updates on the terrible tragedy that occurred in Allen, Texas at Allen Premium Outlets over the weekend. Unfortunately, eight people lost their lives, seven people were injured, and also the gunman was killed by police. Lives that were stolen from us range from ages 5 to 61, and we're learning more about some of those victims. It's so devastating to hear that three of the lives lost came from this family of four. The mother, the father, and the son passed away. Now, one of the children, the six-year-old, did uh, live, and now he's orphaned. A GoFundMe was started a few hours ago with a goal of $50,000 for memorial expenses as well as expenses for the six-year-old child. That GoFundMe has now surpassed $150,000. Now the victims nor the ones that were injured have been identified by law enforcement. This family was identified by family and friends. Of course, here at the Black Accurate News, I'm sending my condolences out to the ones that were lost and also sending uh, speedy recovery vibes to the ones that were injured. Now, authorities have identified the madman responsible for this heinous act, and he is 33-year-old Marcio Garcia. According to law enforcement, he drove to Allen Premium Outlets, got out of his vehicle. He was wearing a tactical vest, and he had a lot of ammunition with him. According to them, he also had some in the car. He opened fire uh, with an AR-style weapon. Now, there was law enforcement at the outlet mall. They were able to quickly respond and neutralize the threat. But unfortunately, because of the style of the weapon and the damage that can be done in such a short period of time, a lot of people lost their lives. We're learning more about the madman. According to reports, he was removed from the military due to mental health concerns. He was in the Army in June of 2008, but was terminated three months later, failing to complete his initial training. According to an Army spokesperson, he was removed under administrative guidelines for physical and mental conditions, but they did not specify what conditions ultimately led to his removal. Authorities have still not released a possible motive for the madman's rampage, but they are investigating his suspected links to white supremacists and neo-Nazi beliefs. At the time of the attack, he was wearing a jacket that included a patch that read RWDS, which stands for Right Wing Death Squad. Now, with this tragedy and this being the second in Texas in the last few weeks, of course, people are turning to the governor, Applehead Abbott. And on faux news for the first time, he brought up mental health. Uh, and uh, uh, people want a quick solution. The long-term solution here uh, is to address the mental health issue. And one, one last thing about this, Shannon, and that is it truly seems today that America is more divided than we've been in decades. And we've got to find a way in this country where we can once again reunite Americans as Americans and come together as one big family. Uh, and in that regard, find ways to reduce violence in our country. Yeah. Of course, Applehead Abbott, who receives a lot of funding from the NRA, gets the side eye from all of us. Again, I'm sending my condolences. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Movo.